Otherwise, FK is going to be taking Op4 here, and we have RCC taking Blue4 here. And on the RCC side, we have Snoof taking the Light AT, Thicky taking the Squad Leader Seven weapon with the GL. Uh, we've got Purim here with a medical roll, Skip taking the uh, Explosive Specialist roll. Send in goat team six. Cardi taking Marksman Rifle and Axel taking 249. But where is their seventh member? Goat team six now. Blue Four is down a member. Are yes, they're down a member. So what's Seven going on? Are they gonna push this six. off or now. Blue Four is gonna go in with six players? So RCC handicapping themselves here. Let's see if it's worth it. But this map has a really interesting mid game here because it's by a, uh, a turned over uh, Minerot Tower and a bunch of rocks in the middle. Whereas Axel, I think, freaked out and is shooting at Skip here. And he gets picked off by Griffin in a crater. And it is now five to seven. 1ER said they'd be down, uh, RCC would be down one. Yeah, 1ER, that's them too. Bit of a risk to play. Purim getting a headshot there. Research coming up to attack the terminal. That with King should be going down. So it is now 5v6. And now we have Sauce going under this dump truck here. Trying to get some pick off. And Spartan Nation with the 10 bucks. No, you can't have your goat back. I want the goat back. Why do you do this to me? Op4, meanwhile, has the terminal. Skip doing some light bandaging. Op4 doesn't realize he is right up there. A lot of blood has been put out here. Uh, Thicky also went down. It is now 4v7 because Fred went down. And that was Snoof over there trying to get an elevation po uh, point on Sauce, but he was taken out, unfortunately. And now it is 3v5. So RCC, again, with that handicap. It's going to be a tough fight every round. But we'll see if Skip can make a move here. But Spartan, again, thank you for the 10 bucks spot. Hope you keep enjoying everything, and I hope to uh, see my goat return safely one day. Great grenade throw. That's going to hurt Skip. It's hard to see under those craters, but he does have some blood loss. Gloopin knocked out by Skip there. Another grenade knocking him to his feet. Cardi joining him, and Pyram coming around. But Griffin has also moved up and might try to get a flank shot on Cardi there. Knocks him out. And there's the double tap by Griffin. Skip now coming around, trying to find where those shots came from. Purim coming in. That boxes Griffin back. Um, Skip boxes Griffin back with some suppressive fire, and Purim is able to uh, execute him in the back of the head. But Griffin puts a really cool dance move down in his death, going down with some real style. All right. Less than two minutes left on the CSAT timer here. For those points, I just heard a grenade get cooked for a second and throw on the outside. Uh, another, uh, that's a satchel thrown by Skip. That's going to kill. Okay, I guess Skip didn't like that Purim took the kill there and decided to end him himself. I don't get it. Yeah, Chip, you Skip! <laughs> But Skip is, I guess, going to try to flank around. He's got less than a minute and a half to make a play here. I mean, maybe if he didn't kill his buddy, then we wouldn't be here. So he makes Sauce God panic. But then Vlad turns around and takes him out. And that is uh, GG for round one. So Thicky going squad leader. Skip, explosive specialist Purim going marksman uh we have both machine gunner and the auto rifleman uh cardi machine gunner axel the auto rifleman and snoof taking the mat rifle uh mat weapon i always get that confused i'm sorry uh actually it would be lat not medium anti-tank it would be uh just light at latin mat lat mat aye, aye, aye. anyway king Shib uh shibi is going to be the 249 gunner so just the auto rifleman 
Uh, Sauce God is going to be a 240 Bravo Gunner, which is the medium machine gun. Um, machine Gunner. Fred taking Explosive Specialist Gloopin, being the Light AT Research, being the Squad Leader. Vlad being the Medic and Griffin again going Marksman. FK, who is blue for this round, is already up one point. A lot of people rushing down Main Street. They're going to try to maintain early control of the terminal, similar to their strategy last round. But with RCC only having six guys, they might be able to overpower and get the victories here. But otherwise, opening barrage is going. I think Resurge just tried to tap Skip there, but instead Resurge gets tapped by Axel. And now it is 6v6. Uh, I think uh, Galupin just got hit by the Marksman. Which is Piram, he also has a point received, so... 6v5. GL trying to go on Fred's position. J'avais peut-être couché un à droite, c'est pas sûr. Petite boutique au sud. Il y a toujours un mec à droite au fond. C'est lorsqu'on a de... Il y en a un au fond, il y en a un au fond du... <laughs> Putain. Thanks for the resub, my man. I'm glad to hear you'll be getting back into Arma. Give me one moment, because Snoof... Just got a drop on Sauce God. Griffin just got tapped by somebody. It was probably Skip. And then somewhere along the way, Thicky, I think, got tapped by Fred. No, it might have been Griffin. No, it was um it was King Shabi because there's the um he has the only kill. So no one's touched the terminal so far. Snoof getting a flank on Vlad there and getting him knocked out. So, so far we might see uh Op4 with a side bias here, because so far these two rounds have been won by Op4, but Jimbo. Man, I hope to see you in Ops one day. You were a great player, and I'm sure coming back with those frames, you'll be great. Satchel charge being thrown. Skip doesn't hear the beeps. AT going out by Snoof there. Uh, Skip is dead. Skip is not dead? I think that killed... Uh, nope, Snoof died at a different angle, but Skip, with uh, assistance from Cardi and Axel, is able to get them drops here. Vlad comes around and manages to drop Cardi. Hold on, we might see an upset here. Um, Fred died uh, in that barrage, and now it's just up to Vlad in a 1v3. We're seeing a similar situation to what happened the previous round. So Axel's probably going to hear those footsteps coming around. Yep, and Vlad doesn't uh, think there's anyone there, and he gets tapped by Axel. So now, RCC, even though they're handicapped and they're only going in with six instead of seven, uh, were able to warm up effectively, and now each side has a single victory. Round three starting here. Both FK and PLH are up around. GL round going a little far there. Uh, op four returning with one of their own. Again, RCC is coming in with six players instead of seven. FK up one. Uh, both round wins have been on the op four side so far. We're gonna uh, so we're gonna see if FK can repeat that magic for op four. But so far, I don't think anyone switched out their roles. But otherwise, there's the terminal connected for Op4 once again. Cardi trying to run up and throw a grenade up. It gets caught under a command striker. Actually, is that a command striker? No, it's uh. No, wait, yes it is. Otherwise, opening shots going up on all sides. It's Op4 trying to maintain the uh, far lanes here. But they're just not able to land it. Skip draws first blood. No, he doesn't. Uh, research go went down. But was that to Cardi? Yep, so Cardi draws first blood. Skip gets a shot on Vlad and knocks him out. Cardi gets spotted by Gloopin, though. I combined his name. Gloopin Boopin, that's it. Cardi pulls back to do medical. And Griffin, I think, just got hit by the Marksman, which in this case is Purim who's taking it. Yep, he is up a kill. So Blue Four doing a good job of just cycling out their rolls here and getting a nice early advantage above FK. Cardi, meanwhile, corner camping because he was doing medical, has Vlad go around him and takes him out. And King Shibi, it's Shibe, I apologize. I'm trying to correct myself there. Also goes down. So it is 6v3 at this point. Op4 still has control of the terminal. And Blue Force probably going to take some casualties to try to mount people over to go take it back. But... If Op4 can just hold for another two and a half minutes, they're golden, but their numbers are getting cut down pretty hard. Fred coming around the corner, might spot Thicky. No, he doesn't. Thicky spots Fred, though, and tries to fire at him. Meanwhile, Skip comes up and knocks, uh, excuse me, eliminates Gloopin. And now Fred's running over, noticing Gloopin's dead. Thicky now running over, though. 
Oh, uh, we do have Purim dead. But Skip now finds Sauce and knocks him out, and it is now 5v1. Snoof getting the double tap, and now Blue 4 has two minutes to get onto this terminal. Or find Fred and eliminate him. Either way, they will win. So Snoop getting some double taps to make absolute sure that he's dead. Fred spots Axel and takes him out. Skip, though, spots Fred and takes him out. There's off four eliminated before the 10 points can go on, so it is a blue four victory. Oh, that was going to get close. But hot damn, only two deaths on blue four. So RCC tonight showing just because they're down a man doesn't mean that they are easy prey for this competition. And they're doing a lot of damage to FK. So match point now for RCC. Not really looking good for FK, even though they are up a player. Ouais, euh, bonne chance. Et oubliez pas de garder la ligne. Garder la ligne. <rire> garder cette putain de ligne. Ouais, récupérer les par jour. Trop. Ouais. Parfait. Parfait. À droite, à droite, ferme, en face de toi. Et up anyway, back to the round here. Opening shots going out. Axel, uh, did he get the drop on research? Yes, he did. Research trying to go in the middle play, but once again gets knocked out early on. Tough. And no one is able to get a touch on the terminal. But now it's 6v6. King Shabik, I think, just got spotted by Cardi there. He gets the AT out, the AT falls short, and I just saw Axel get knocked out. I thought Vlad was going for Cardi there, but I guess fired a little lawn. Uh, he got both of them in those shots, though. Look how close they were together. So 5v6. So how is Op4 going to bounce back? Lupin here is blinded. There's some more grenades being thrown here. Skip trying to go for the terminal. I think gets his legs taken out. Fred was the shooter. I think he's going to try to come around now. Vlad spots him as Cardi spots Fred. Now you got the marksman, uh, Piram, trying to put some shots on Fred. He gets knocked out. Another blue four guy. That was Bloopin gets taken. No, it wasn't Bloopin. It was uh, Shib uh, Shibi. 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 I'm going to say that name wrong all the damn time. Skip puts some shots on Griffin, but goes back. Griffin uh, did not get hit. He takes a bit of damage from those grenades. Fred still knocks unconscious. Griffin taking a few more shots. Uh, one actually managed to clip him there as he pulled away. And uh, Skip just got taken out on mid. And it is now 4v3 in Blue Force favor. Fred getting some double taps there. Uh, Thicky, I think, yeah, Fred's not going to wake up at this point without some proper medical attention. Gloopin hearing those shots, though, he is going to move up. And no one's been able to take control of the terminal just yet. I think at this point, though, it's going to be a too late to uh, count that as a factor here. The PvP is going to be done before it's handled. Vlad, I think, tried to just get Snoof shot there, but wasn't able to maintain any good hits. See Snoof again and tries to put some shots on him. Snoof returning fire, but Vlad is able to take him out. And out is 2v4 in FK's ballpark. Gloopin gets pushed up by Thicky, though. And... Gloopin isn't able to return any shots. I think he had his AT rifle out or something. But it's now 2v3. At this point, the terminal isn't important. The kills are important. Because the terminal is a kill zone for Vlad. But Vlad's still watching that right angle. Grenade being thrown. It's a smoke. So we still have Sauce here overwatching this dump truck area. He could be spotted by Thicky though, and shot. And there's Piram getting the terminal touch. It's good to have, but I, I think it's not really going to be a factor for this round unless Blue 4 just continues to camp. I could see Thicky coming around, though, getting a shot on Sauce. Then again, yeah, you can just barely see his head over that BRDM. That would be a really tough shot to make. But Thicky is in a good camping spot right there. Sauce is going to advance, potentially try to flank around on the other side. Less than four minutes. 
J'ai lancé une flèche sur une orque. A flare being fired. Not sure if that was an accident or not. Maybe it was supposed to be HE. Yeah, research going to exactly to the same spot. We called it out. And best diagram, how you doing? Right, oh, Aries. Happy to help. I always like to help people find the content they want to watch or the armor community they want to play in. It's something I take pride in. Oh, Sur moi. They keep walking around. I'm not sure if Vlad Boutique. hears him. I think Sauce is going to climb up the back right here and try to take the terminal out from Purim. Purim with the marksman rifle. That is not a good weapon to fight CPC against the 762 M240 Bravo. J'en ai pas, j'en ai pas. Three minutes. Actually, two and a half minutes, because uh, that's been at that counter for a while. So Griffin's eventually going to have to make a move on that terminal. But I think Purim is prone, just trying to wait them out. Another smoke being thrown. Purim coming around. Sauce has vaulted the... Nope, he's gone through this spot. Purim putting some shots on Griffin. Doesn't get the kill, but knocks Griffin back. Sauce is going to move up on Purim, so Purim needs to stay mobile. Vicky, meanwhile, coming around. Griffin trying to return fire. Sauce is going to be able to get behind Purim, though, and take him out, though. Vlad jumping from the rooftop. He is now running. Purim, I think, saw Sauce and is trying to come around now. Vicky getting behind Griffin. 2v2. Purim has to do attack reload. Switches to his mag. Whoa, gets the secondary kill. Hold on. Less than a minute and a half. Sauce is going to have to go for the terminal. Did RCC just scoop this out from under FK? Purim got a great headshot with that 9mm handgun there. Great play by um, Thicky and Purim. I was not expecting Purim to win that fight. I was expecting Sauce to come behind and eliminate Purim. But it's he, Sauce isn't gonna have enough time. Even if he were to get the kill on Purim here, who's limping up, Sauce knows he has to go for the terminal at this point. And there, two v one, and he's taken out. And that is GG. FK has been eliminated by Turney here, and RCC gets to advance. And Thicky finds Purim's handgun as well and is knocked out. <rire> alors ça, alors ça mec, c'était <rire> vraiment une grosse pute. Ah, j'ai fait mon kill au PA, j'ai le droit de faire ça. Mec, mais... il t'a appelé John Wick, il t'a appelé John Wick. Ah mec, j'ai <rire> sorti mon arme, j'ai fait, oh putain, mais le mec il a tout raté, il a tout raté. On ouais. passe le bas, on passe ouais. le round les gars, c'est bien ça.